right now we're at Hell Center Theater's Scenic Shop, where they engineer all the different sets, designs, and, and just big props that are happening here. Right now we're gonna talk to Zach, who's gonna be telling us about something he's engineering, something about engineering a spider. We are here at this, would you call this the warehouse? Yeah, the warehouse, build facility, uh, metal shop, carpentry shop, storage. This is all awesome. of those things. It is huge. Yeah, it's big space. Yeah. How? Wh so, what would you say happens actually here? So this is the bones of everything, right? Yeah. This is where we start. We get a design. Yeah. We get go from there. We work with the designer. We get their imagery of what they want with the show. What is capable on our end? Yeah. What they can have with what their wants, and then we go from there. We try to provide everything that they ask for. We build it all so that they can take their design that they've envisioned to the director and say, mm -hmm. here's what I've envisioned, here's what we have. Yeah. This is where you can start being creative as far as the actors and the numbers and the songs and everything from there. So do they give you like a sketch of what they want and then you build it? Or do you kind of do it yourself? Depends or? on the piece. Depend Sometimes if they say, oh, it's really simple, it's a 12 foot tall platform yeah you know okay it's just uh we just say hey here you go 12 yeah. by 12 and that's pretty simple it's not too complicated whereas in like something else that's middle court more creative more yeah. artistic that's like imagery based they you have to just say here's our image here's a rough size go from there that's awesome so. my goodness so you, there's a lot of creativity i guess when you're trying to create stuff here at yeah, the yeah, there, that's one of the benefits of working at a theater is it's it's more of a creative environment instead of like main construction, you're doing flat square all the time. Yeah. You know, <sighs> boxes, flat and square. Yeah, absolutely. So. This is like a lot of engineering work, it seems like, that things putting put together, making sure that mm, things kind of operate the way that they need to. I see this thing right here. Yes. What would you call this? Like, what is this? So this was named Iris during the creative process, okay. the design, and we've had Iris. to run through it. That's Iris. This is a roughly 13 foot tall spider that will be in Tarzan. It flies in the way you see it now, vertically coming down in into our center stage to be involved in the show. So this is a spider, eight legs and all. This yep, is eight legs. We got goodness. our little pincers up here. They're gonna, you know, get a little refinement, get a little detail to look a little sharp and not yeah. be dangerous though. That is awesome. So. My goodness. And it has like this big open space that happens in there. So is there like a machine that kind of makes it move at all or what? A uh, human, this? a human will be inside it. They'll be able to stand here. There's over six foot tall opening in there for whatever size person's inside there. Yeah. And they'll be inside there, they'll go ahead and they will be able to hold onto these and operate these arms, get them moving. Whoa, yeah, because it's moving those things. Yep, get That's the scene. crazy. So, so a human actually is inside of this, yep. operating it, making it move. Yes, as it flies in and during the scene of the show, whatever needs to happen, if there wants some movement, if they want the spider to open its arms for a hug, it's oh there. Oh my goodness. Is it, is it possible? I, I, you know, I'm a human. Yeah. You know, <laughs> is it possible for me to try? Absolutely, to if you'd like to. Yeah, it's it's a little rough. There's going to be okay. some more protection, okay. little safety measures, and okay. but yeah, if you want to climb in there, you're more than welcome Goodness. to. Because this is, this seems like so much. Okay, is it have, is it strong enough to hold a person? Oh, absolutely. So welds are rated. These welding wire has a rating to it, and so it's like every inch is rated per pound, and so like, I mean, you have six inches of weld there. That's way more than enough to hold a human. Okay, so I won't tell you how much I weigh, but yeah. it's, it's good enough yeah. for whatever I weigh. Yes. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that is great. So like, yeah, so you were able to, to know how much it can hold, Yeah. but it's more than a human. Yeah, it should be more than enough to support a human being. So how would I go about getting into it? Do I just kind of just go? Yeah, it's kind of dicey. We can go ahead and lower her down a little bit for you. It's gonna be a little noisy, but we can get her in so she's less, less of a pain to climb into. Goodness. And that's slowly putting it down. Whoa! Yeah. So there okay. we go. That's a little lower. Yeah. So the way I've been getting into yep. it when I've been testing the arm movements, make sure I have enough clearance for stuff. Right. Is I will try, I'll put my knee here. Okay. And then I will put your other foot Put on my top? other foot on this platform. And then I will start to stand up in, try and avoid all my little sharp bits and dangerous stuff. And then spin so that I am facing outward. Here I go. Great. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'll put my knee here. Yep. Am I good to hold this? Yeah, it's a little sharp. Oh. I would try to hold on to something like you can hold. If you grab right there, that's a pretty good spot. And then I'll put. Swing your foot up. Like that? Yep. 
and then you'll have to duck down and get your head in there. Think it's worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. One more time, one more time. Okay, one more I got time. this. I got this. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna put my knee here. Yep. I'm gonna grab this. Swing your head in right now is a good time. Okay. Do you know how to get in there? Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll, give, you a, I'll give you a show. <laughs> you, want, you, want me, you want to watch one? Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'd love to watch. Okay. Oh my so goodness. I just do this. Oh. You made that look so easy. Well, it's not my first time getting in it. <laughs> that is awesome. There you go. Oh, man, look at this. So. And then the, the arms move. Yeah, like we're a little low for that. Okay. We'd have to go up for more movement. Would I push this part down? Yeah, go ahead just... and give that a tug and we'll find out if that's the right direction. That is the right direction. Okay, cool. Keep I'll... going. Keep going. A little more clearance. There we go. That's enough. Okay. Oh. And there you go. My goodness. This is awesome. Yeah. I, so is this something that you created? So I was handed a rendition, an art, artistic sketch of saying this is the imagery yeah. that we want for the show. This is the idea that we like. We want this size. We want this. They have a plan for the color. And they gave, like, they had another picture of an actual tarantula they wanted to use as a reference. And they said, this is what we want. Let's see what we can do. That is awesome. I got this. Here we go. All right. I'm a spider. And this, this is how it works. <laughs> that is awesome. Zach, this is it, man. I can't believe it. All the, like, how many bolts that are connected to all of this. That's crazy that you, you created this. So can you walk me through how these arms work and how some of these things get to move? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, in their rendition that they gave us originally, it had like, they had a little bit of arrows saying, hey, you know, it'd be really cool if these could be involved in the scene, you know, so it's not just a flat, foamy spider c coming in. Right, right, right. So, you know, we get going. I, what I did is I, I kind of did both processes, just like step by step, I would, I did a rough shape of the spider, right? Just like exoskeleton. Yeah. And then I was like, and I needed to do the support structure for someone to fly on. And then once I got to that point, I needed to do the legs and how are these are gonna be attached. So I figured out how to make these attachment points and then it's just a bolt and then there's some, this is a slot, it's not a solid, it's not a solid hole. So there's some, there's some wiggle room in there. So it allows it to have some organic motion. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then, you know, just, I had already made the legs, punched a bolt hole in them so they could bolt onto there. And then <laughs> once I got them in there, I figured the easiest way for someone to move is just a nice joystick, you know? Yeah. So we go ahead and- uh, It's like a video game, almost like Star Wars. It's like, what am I yeah. doing? Yeah, so like looks like the inside of a, like a cartoon crane that you're driving around. So you know, I just got some little half inch rod here and we just heated her up and bent her where we needed her to go so that they can avoid each other in operation. Yeah, yeah. But also be in a relatively convenient position for the driver to, op to access them. Oh my goodness. And so these bolts are basically, since it's welded together here, you're able to push this over and it's still connected. Yep. And it pushes everything out. Yep. That is incredible. Yep. Yeah, oh and then, and then we wanted to do these ones on springs, kind of, just so it had some natural bounce to it. But you know, we decided, hey, we could just actually tie these together with a rod, so that when you actuate this leg, it moves this one up as well. <laughs> so that is perfect. My goodness, I love it. That's so cool. My goodness. And so, for you, how did you get started with this type of work? Uh, if I may ask, what is your title in this? At so the I'm a build tech or a carpenter, but here since we do so much, we do you know we make spiders, we make walls, we make fences, we make flying nurseries. Yeah, you know we do so much that like you kind of want to be a jack of all trades. Yeah. So I'm a carpenter, but I also you know since I work over here in the welding department when it's needed, and the welders will come over and we'll help do other carpentry stuff. So you end up doing a little bit of everything. And so how did you get involved with being a build tech or a carpenter? Is that something you've always wanted to do or? I uh, just landed in it, you know, you need a job and then, you know, you end up getting one, you kind of bounce around finding places that you like and then yeah. you find something that you feel confident in or you, you can read a tape measure and you know, that goes a long way in a lot of places. And so you start and then you just feel as you like it. And you just, ne like, so I guess you just had this ability 
to be able to make something like this? I grew up building stuff. You know, my, my great grandpa was a carpenter. My dad was a, we remodeled my house growing up. So he always did that a little bit. And then yeah. like, you know, it was just, I've done another other kind of creative stuff while I was here. Like earlier on, I did some gravestones and our CNC machine was down at the time. So we yeah. couldn't just program it and have them cut all the detail we wanted. We just said, here's the size we want. Here's the shapes. And we just had to sit there and draw them all out, lay them all out on material and cut them out with the jigsaw. My goodness. And so when this came around, they decided I should be the one to jump on it, I guess. <laughs> that is awesome. So. And then you just engineered this, man. Yeah. This is incredible. Like, honestly, this is no joke. It's not yeah. just like something that it's like, oh yeah, sure, I'll just do something. I could never, I, I could never come up with this. And the fact that you can get in this mm -hmm. and this holds your body, my goodness, that was awesome. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Thank you so much of for, course. for me with me and tell us about this. Yeah, happy so to. So cool, awesome. All right, brother. Yeah. <laughs> this was so awesome. Who knew so much engineering work happens here at Hale Center Theater? Well, till next time.